So now that we just covered the customer relationships lecture, Get, Keep, and Grow, the optional reading for next week in the Startup Owner's Manual is pages 180 through 188, 260 to 269, and 438 to 456. Um, there's a nice video to watch, which uh, Mark Pincus of Zynga uh, did, called Quick and Frequent P Product Testing and Assessment. Just click on the link uh, for access to the video. Now, for next week, we really want you to get out of the building and actually try to build a budget yourself and a forecast for customer acquisition, um, which is the first thing you need to do, whether it's a physical channel or web mobile. Except in web mobile, you're actually going to do it uh, in the next couple of weeks. And create an objective pass-fail metrics for each of the customer acquisition get tests. If you're going to be using Google AdWords, what are the right metrics, what are the right tests? And what's nice is, is all you have to do is guess, because your experiments are going to be cheap. You could actually find out data in $5 a day with keywords. In a physical channel, it's a little harder. You need to be talking to customers and trying to understand how do they get information on how to find out about products. Is it radio? Is it still the web? Uh, is it, are there trade shows, etc.? So sometimes uh, both physical and web channels use the same vehicles. Other times, how you get, keep, and grow customers are distinctly different. So you want to understand specifically, what is your customer acquisition cost? What are your customer lifetime values? There's no way you could actually know for certain in the first week uh, of getting out of the building. But now you're asking these questions, and it's questions you're going to be asking for the next couple of years in your company. So here's a good place to start. If you want some examples, uh, the link below uh, takes you to some of these Get, Keep, and Grow examples. Optionally, use the Launchpad Central software and post your customer discovery narratives.